Boy, do I have a treat for you today. In this video, I'll be talking about 10 of the biggest anime letdowns that I have bared witness to. They are not in a specific order, and I think they're pretty much all on a similar level. Some are a little worse than the others, and some are, some are just ass. Some are just really bad. You'll see, you'll see. Just go into it. The first one I have on here is one that I think most people can agree with me on, and that's anime live actions. It's one of those things that is entertaining to a certain degree. Just think about the recent ones in history. Cowboy Bebop is a great example of why that should never be done. How do you go from this to this? You've literally taken the source material and thrown it into a meat grinder and said, whatever comes out is what we're working with. It's similar to video game movies. If they just kept with the source material and the story that was already built there, and you know, they can dabble a little bit. They can add their own little spice to the mix, but you need to keep it at least 90% what it used to be. Otherwise you end up with shit. It just doesn't make sense. You're wasting the IP. You are wasting your money. The only part that makes these somewhat like watchable is they're so bad they're funny death note is a great example on netflix it is so <laughs> shit it's just shit but it is so entertaining to just see bad movies so you got that going for you anime live actions good for you number two on this list and this one's a big problem and it still happens today most of us here like the animation style that anime has so why are you throwing in a cgi bear what is this? I only know that show from the CGI bear, and it just makes me not want to watch it. Another great example of shitty CGI is Berserk 2016. I don't know how you messed that up. I don't know who okayed this. He was not saying though. You take a beloved series that has an amazing story and great art in the manga, and somehow you say, fuck that. We're not, we're not following that art. We are going to do our own art. We're going to do CGI. Why? Why are you making CGI characters that are like main characters that are CGI? That is just uncalled for. Big letdown. Definitely tank that series. It's so sad to see. A basics for every anime. Every anime does this most of the time because it makes sense. It's it's meticulous to do this, but CGI crowds, you've seen them. You're always thinking to yourself, and you're like, this feels so out of place. That's because it is. That's because it is out of place. It's it's CGI. It's bad CGI. Number three is something I've had a problem with since 1997. Was I born then? No. But let me tell you, whatever existed of me back then was thinking this. Why has Berserk not gotten a full anime adaptation? It is a great story. It's like the perfect shonen to make an anime out of. It would rival Jujutsu Kaisen and Demon Slayer right now. It could top Full Metal Alchemist if done right. It could. It'd be a war front you know, of, of the review bombing and shit, but it could happen. Anyway, I feel like it's a cardinal sin at this point that Berserk has not got an anime adaptation that is fully done. We've had two series now that don't finish it, and one of them we've already talked about that is absolutely shit and CGI cannon fodder. Another one is a 90s anime, and it doesn't adapt the whole thing. It, it only does a small chunk of the whole series. So get on that anime industry, make that full adaptation. Number four is Tokyo Ghoul, the anime adaptation adaptation because what the hell happened i didn't realize at first that the anime didn't follow the manga until a friend of me recommended the manga and i read it and then i realized dear god why did they mess this up it's just a sorry sight to see when an anime doesn't follow the manga i just think it's detrimental to the adaptation and something that should be avoided as much as possible and tokyo ghoul is a prime example of an unfaithful adaptation that was extremely hated for the fact number five is something that got me going when i heard about it that is call of duty x attack on titan i am an active warzone player me and my pops we love to play warzone so picture me an anime fan realizing there will be anime skins in the game i like to play i was undeniably hyped and stoked about this news and i could not wait to see the skins and then i see the leaf for the levi skin dear god what the fuck is this i don't know why the fuck they did this it is the dollar store version of levi warzone in the past has had skins from movies and shit guess what they did they made an operator for that character they made rambo in the game has his own character. Why would you not do that for Levi? What are you thinking? You you put some shitty ass haircut on a dude, put him in a stupid scout outfit, and call it a day. And that's that was extremely 
disappointing for me. It was such a big letdown. But it didn't stop there. They made an armored titan skin in the fucking game. And that may not sound ridiculous to you at first, but look at this thing. As anyone who's watched the series knows, the armored titan is relatively 12 meters tall. And now I have a one, two meter guy running around looking like a nude model, body painted himself up and said, let's go to war. Why did you choose like to body paint an operator as the armor Titan and be like, that's it guys. That's what we got to do. People were more hyped about this one, but I was even more let down. It was a second let down for me. I don't know how you could get hyped for that. If you did, good for you, but it looks so quirky to me. Every time I run into it, I think it's hilarious. Call of Duty X Attack on Titan, massive let down for me. Number six is a common thing that always happens in the anime industry for various reasons. Sometimes it's justified, sometimes it's just kind of sad. That is when good series never get a renewal. And this happens to me so often, or I'll be watching a show. Show. Usually a rom-com, you know, rom-cons are known to have this problem, but I'll be watching a show and I'll be enjoying it and I'll be like, oh, this is fucking great. And then I get to the end. I'm like, where's season two? I get worried for a second. I'm a little anxious. I'm like, okay, shit. Why don't you check the date this came out of and see if this is even going to get a season two? Because at this point, I'm shaking in my boots. I'm I'm worried. I'm not going to see an end to this show. And I go to the Annie List uh, webpage, and the show was made in 2013. It's not getting a season two. That's just an example. I Obviously, one of the most common for me is Nisekoi watching that show, and then season three doesn't exist. And let's be honest, guys, it never will. This is another popular thing. So the manga has multiple chapters, you know, if, if you've ever read manga. And these release in magazines and things, and then they get put into volume. This is a manga 101 one course right now. Hori Mia had the problem of they took the entire story and then they just smashed it in. They just, they fucking crammed that shit into 13 episodes or whatever it was. That is another common thing to do. And it's disappointing when you watch it. You want, you want a full adaptation like, oh, I like this story. It's so good. And they're like, no, we're fucking squeezing that shit down. We're squeezing it into one little season. So that's another problem we run into. I now have a big shonen fan base and my subscriber base as most of my popular videos are shonen based. So a great example is Black Bullet. If you've ever watched that and if you haven't, go fucking watch it. It's never getting a season two. That thing's released like eight years ago now. So yeah, that, that's, that kind of shit's disappointing. It, it's sad to see. It's sad to see. I'm choking up over here as you can hear on my voice. Number seven, we've all had this thought at least once in our life if not multiple times as this series gets a new season seemingly every year ash please just grow up think of if you were eight years old watching this in like 1998 and 2022 you are now 32 and you probably have a kid who is watching pokemon and you walk into the living room and you stumble you're like oh he's watching pokemon is ash still around Yes, Ash is still around. He's still fucking 10 years old. Why don't they just let him grow up? Keep him around as like a character. Introduce someone else. Maybe it's Ash's kid. And then like have him as like a supporting role. Why can't we do that? Why Why is Ash just not grow up? It's really creepy. It's really weird, man. Hashtag let Ash grow up. Get that trending or something. I don't know. Okay, so for eight... Most of you hate the series. It's common knowledge. I am a minority in this kind of area not usually but the fairy tale final season was a sorry ass show i enjoyed the series probably too much as a kid and seeing the final season get adapted when i heard that was happening i was hyped but the problem we run into is what the hell happened to the budget i mean come on guys perfect example of this is natsu versus gray in the final season it's like sasuke versus naruto it's like hyped up to that level and you're seeing it's gonna finally play out it has been hinted at most of the entire series oh shit this is gonna go down at some point and when it goes down it is the sorriest fucking thing i've ever seen naruto and sasuke over here get their own animation style for the three episode fight and this one there's like still images for the like the magics getting thrown around maybe a connection of fists once like it's very minor plot detail this is something they could have like delved into because it is a hyped up fight but no we are not doing that. 
we're just cutting it off. And they stop the fight. They have Ezra come in and stop the fight. And this pretty much sets the tone for an entire season. A lot of the fights get cut to like pan images, still images, and not actual like motion fighting. So it was really sad to watch. I just wish they had a bigger budget. Number nine is something I, I always wonder why. It's something that shonens do quite a lot. And that's non-canon anime movies. For example, you have Naruto. It has about I think seven movies that are non-canon. Black Clover also did this with their movie, and Dragon Ball does this every time they have a movie. This isn't always the case. I'm not saying that all anime movies are non-canon. The Demon Slayer movie was canon. Jujutsu Kaisen's movie was canon. Gintama's movie was canon. And Psycho Pass has had multiple movies that were canon. It's just something when I run into it, you just wonder why they're wasting their budget on this. It just feels worthless when the story doesn't like build on anything. It's same with filler content. I hate that filler content doesn't carry anything on in the story and that's why most people hate it and it's just a waste of time so big let down non-canon movies and filler filler as well the final number on this list is the fact that this show even exists i won't spend long in this since it's pretty much just a joke why are we having a show that's premise is i like my sister blood related by the way i watched this series so you can't you can't tag me as oh sock sensor you haven't watched this series you don't know what you're talking about. Yes, I do. And I am sad to say I enjoyed it. I am so angry at myself that I actually watched this show and I was like, damn, you know, I'm kind of happy for them. I'm happy they did this. Anime is the only thing that could ever make you feel like like incest is justified. I said it. Don't attack me. And if you look at my Annie list, you'll see it's at the bottom of the fucking list. Not because the show wasn't good, but because the premise made me sad. I should not feel that way. <laughs> it was such an odd feeling. You're sitting there watching these two kiss in a wedding dress and you wonder to yourself, man, what the fuck am I doing? Only in anime. That's the only time you'll ever feel that way. I, at least I hope so. I hope none of you are trying to marry. Anyway, I'm, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had fun making it. A little something I wanted to talk about. I'll be moving back next week. So during the summer, expect more videos once a week. Hopefully I can actually do once a week since I don't have classes. If you're not subscribed, do that. Probably put that in the front of the video. It don't matter. It don't matter. You get the point. I will see you guys next time. Bye.